the house of Jimmy Jacobs here in the small town of Lawton, Michigan. Not even one stoplight in this town. But here it is. Well, it's more, it's more of an apartment. But it's the first apartment I've had uh, by myself. I used to live with people, so I'm kind of proud of it. So come on in. And this is my living room. Not much in here. No couches. Just my DVDs, my Nintendo games, and my yoga mat. I come to this room to relax, just to meditate, do yoga, things of that nature. Which I know it's kind of cliche to do yoga, but I'd rather be doing that than what I was doing before. See, you're not screwed up because you're a drug addict. You're a drug addict because you're screwed up. Um, and in 2007, 2008, 2009, I was screwed up and I was a drug addict. Uh, I was angry, very angry at the world. And uh, very insecure as well. And the whole age of the fall thing, it was all based around me. I was the center of attention. And even though the message we were trying to send was, you know, like a positive message in, in a way, um, it was really all about me. Uh, during that time, I felt we touched we touched some people's lives in, in a very uh, real way, but unfortunately, I couldn't see that as good because it was just all about my head getting bigger. It was all about look what I can do, um, look at me. Um, it was self-serving, completely self-serving. I was a self-centered egomaniac with an inferiority complex. My way of dealing with it was with drugs. And it went from two beers and two Vicodin to cocaine to Oxycontin every single day. And then whatever else I'd go hands on. Uh, I developed quite a habit. And then as that habit continued, as the addiction continued, um, I started to care less and less. I stopped caring about how I looked, I stopped working out. Um, I didn't even want to bring gear to wrestling shows. Um, I wrestled drunk. I missed my flights. I was hard to deal with. I was an asshole, quite frankly. Um, and I made people's lives hard around me. I got in fights in locker rooms. Um, and in 2009, in June of 2009, I just couldn't be bothered anymore. Um, everything was everybody else's fault. and. I couldn't be bothered, so I left Ring of Honor, essentially quitting my job. And I thought for some reason that would make things better, but the summer of 2009 proved that things would just get worse. <laughs>